Hi everyone, this is Card Says. Let's now begin the November 2023 monthly and weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Cross watchers are welcome here as well. Thank you everyone for tuning in, liking, and subscribing. We have a playlist of the other zodiac signs that might interest you located at the description box and pinned comment section. Also, in the description or bio are details if you want to get a personal tarot reading with me. Now, let's jump right into your reading. For your blessings, you have the card, the Five of Swords in the first, and this is clarified by the Magician in the first. What I see for you here is you are not choosing to engage in fights or drama this November 2023. With the Magician in the first, I see you as simply having no energy to engage with this type of people, with this type of situations, you prefer to use your energy to what is most beneficial for you this November. It's like you know that your energy is would be best used someplace else. That's why you don't choose to engage with these types of people. You'd rather display class and finesse instead of engaging in useless drama. And that's your blessing this month of November. This November, your challenge is the Eight of Wands. And this is clarified by the Page of Pentacles. So what I see for you here, the challenge is in movement. It's like something could be moving too fast and you are this page of pentacles. You are still trying to learn. However, the advice here is that you would want to embody the page of pentacles. You want to see things in a new light. You would want to see things through the eyes of a child. Be willing to learn just like the page of pentacles. Be reliable just like the page of pentacles. Don't be afraid to ask questions, to inquire what are the things that you needed to learn. And this will help uh, keep you in pace or get you to the pace that you need to be in whatever challenge this is that you are trying to overcome this month of November. For your love and romance, you have the card Two of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in the first. There is this energy of impatience here with the Seven of Pentacles in the first and with the Two of Swords. It's like this is a decision that has been made due to impatience. So the advice here for your love and romance this November is not to be hasty, not be too quick in judging a situation. Or in taking action when it comes to love and romance. Be patient because some information are still going to show up for you that will be most useful so you can make the best decision here. Also, use your intuition, not just what it is that you see in the um, current reality because some information could be layered. This means that it could mean one way on one angle but it could mean differently when you view it from a different angle or if you ask another person's opinion about it or if you ask all the people involved they will have their own angles of you know of the situation different points of views and that's your love and romance reading and that's your overall vibe this month of November. Before we move on to our weekly energy check-in, remember to like, share, subscribe, and follow if you haven't done so yet. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Comment if you like. It also helps to bump our channel up with the algorithm. For other details and to get your personal tarot readings with me, it's in the description or bio. Now let's get to your vibe check this new moon. For this new moon, you have the card, the Page of Cups in the first, and this is clarified by the Knight of Cups. 
with the page of cups in reverse here i see that you may be receiving some um unfavorable information this new moon of november and with the knight of cups here this is telling you an advice that not to follow this um, unfavorable information not to follow the negative emotion this new moon it's like this negative information is going to evoke negative feelings from you negative emotions from you and so the advice is that do not give in to this to this temptation of making action or taking action because you are in a way frustrated or desperate or sad or depressed it could be some of that um low range vibration and so the advice is only to move if the vibration is high enough for you or at least stable and that's your new moon reading now let's move on to your full moon reading for the month of november 2023 for the full moon you have the three of swords and the four of pentacles so what i see for you here is that there's something that ends this full moon for you and it ends in heartbreak it led you to feel really down and so the advice here is the four of pentacles wherein you would want to preserve your spirit is saying dignity preserve your dignity this full moon so that is for someone specific in this reading other than that you would want to preserve your time and your resources only use them where it is most beneficial where it is most practical for you or use your time and resources so that you can build a better foundation for you and your future because the force in the tarot represents cornerstones or foundations so that's what you would want to build this full moon this november instead of really just staying in the low vibe energy of the three of swords and that's your full moon reading now let's move on to your week one for the first week of november you do have the tower and the death card in reversed so what i see here is there is a refusal to change it's like you've been called to change uh, for the longest time you are hearing this call of action to transform your life on your own in your own volition but since you're not doing anything you know someone in the leo collective needs to hear this since you are not taking action on what is the best path for you you are being sent a tower moment wherein all that you've known could be taken away from you or be destroyed it's more so of a way of thinking or the beliefs that you hold these beliefs are no longer powerful and helpful for you in the coming chapter of your life that's why this is needed to be cleared off and so that you can welcome new things in your life and that's your week one reading for you leo now let's move on to week two for the second week of the month you have the five of swords and this is clarified by the five of pentacles so this lack mentality that you could be having is the root cause of the infighting the drama that is around you the second week of the month and hopefully you would choose to embody the blessing of the month for you which is the five of swords in reverse so you are getting this card twice now but this time around this is in the upright position and i do hope that this is just something that is happening around you 
and you choose not to get involved in it. Although this Five of Pentacles here is in a way a good card because this is something temporary. So you would want to just allow this thing to pass and that's your second week reading. Now let's move on to the third week. For the third week of the month, you have the Temperance Upright and this is clarified by the King of Swords Upright. And I really like this for you this third week of the month. Because this means that you have the clarity of mind, you have the clarity of thought in order to make a well-balanced decision. And what I see here is you are learning the value of patience. You are also embodying patience this third week of the month and this is really good for you. And also for some of you there is a good news here if you need the favor of someone who has a higher position than you. Let's say a parent. Let's say your boss, someone who has a higher status than you, if you need their approval, you will get it this third week of the month. And that's what I see for you this third week of November. Now let's move on to your fourth week. For your fourth week, you have the five of wands and this is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. And I see this as something that is really good for you this end of November. As you end the month, you will experience movement. Although this is really slow. This is a really slow movement. And with the Five of Wands here, this is you doing a practice. You are practicing something in order to master it. And when it comes to mastery, there is also money involved or, or profit involved with the Knight of Pentacles. Even if you need to master this um, in the long run or in the long term, you will reap the benefits of this, whatever it is that you are practicing with the five of wands and that's the messages that has been channeled for you leo i do hope this reading provided you with clarity to go along with healing and your soul's journey consider tapping like and subscribe to help the channel feel free to check the description box for more info and to get personal readings with me keep safe see you on our next video it is my pleasure to do these readings with you thank you for watching this is card says